Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at those long calculations including moles. This might be where you're given the starting mass of the reactants and you have to calculate the mass of the products produced. Don't forget to like and subscribe the videos. So let's take a look at some examples. So example one. If 10 grams of magnesium chloride is reacted with excess silver nitrate, what mass of silver chloride would be produced? And in the exam, they will always provide you with the symbol equation. So the first thing we do is we write the information from the question underneath the symbol equation. So we've got 10 grams of this. We're looking for this one, silver chloride. And that means we can forget about the other two formula in the equation, so cross them out. We then write a sentence to describe the ratios of reactants to products. So in this case, there's no numbers in front of MgCl2 or AgCl, so no big balancing numbers. So just one mole of MgCl2 makes one mole of AgCl. We then need to work out how many moles of MgCl we've got. If we had five moles of it, it would make five moles of AgCl. If we had 10 moles of MgCl2, it would make 10 moles of AgCl. So we work out the moles using mass over MR, and it's a good idea to write next to it what you're working out the moles of. So I always write moles of MgCl2 is mass over MR. The MR of MgCl2 is the mass numbers of magnesium 24, plus 35.5 plus 35.5 for the two chlorines, and that is 95. So we put that into the equation mass over MR. We've got 10 grams of it divided by the MR 95, and that's 0 0.105 moles of MgCl2. So once again, we add it to the equation. We annotate the equation and write 0 0.105 moles above the thing we've just worked out. Now that tells us we'll also make 0.105 moles of AgCl, as the ratio is 1 to 1. But we want the mass of AgCl. So we need to use the other form of the equation, which is mass of AgCl is moles times MR. And the MR of AgCl is 108 for silver plus 35.5 for chlorine. That comes to 143.5. So we put that into the equation above, moles times MR, and that works out at 15.07 grams, and that's the answer. Let's look at another example. Now this time it says what mass of copper would be made from 40 kilograms of copper oxide? So we could change the kilograms into grams, and then back again into kilograms, but all those extra steps mean that we could make a mistake somewhere along the way. It's far easier just to cross out kilograms and imagine it's in grams, and then just remember at the end that the answer's in kilograms. So we do it exactly the same as before. We write down under the equation that we've got 40 grams of copper oxide, and we want to know about the mass of copper. We can ignore the other formula in the equation, and then we write a sentence. In this case, two moles of CuO, because we've got a big two in front of it, makes two moles of Cu. But again, it's still an equal ratio. So if we had 10 moles of CuO, it would make 10 moles of Cu. So how many moles have we got? Well, we need moles equals mass over MR. And the MR of CuO is copper plus oxygen. That comes to 79.5. Put it in the equation above, we've got 40 grams of it, so that's 40 over 79.5 is 0.503 moles. Once again, we annotate the equation with that, so we know we've got 0.503 moles of CuO, and that means we'll make 0.503 moles of Cu. But we want the mass of Cu. Mass is moles times AR. Notice how we're using AR now, not MR, because we're just talking about an atom on its own, Cu, not joined to any other atoms. It wouldn't matter if you put MR at this point, you'd still use the right numbers and get the right answer. So that becomes 
uh, 0.503 moles times 63.5, which is the mass of copper, and that's 31.9 grams. But at this point, we need to remember the question was in kilograms, so we just change the units, and that would be 31.9 kilograms. So now it's time for you to have a go. So read the practice question, have a go on a piece of scrap paper, and then resume the video to see how he got on. So first, we annotate the equation. We've got 320 grams of calcium, and we're looking for the mass of calcium chloride. So we can ignore the HCl and the H2, and then we need to write a sentence to describe the ratio. In this case, one mole of calcium makes one mole of calcium oxide. Moles is mass over AR, so the moles of calcium is 320 over 40, which is eight moles. So we write that above the equation. That makes us realize we would make eight moles of CaCl2. And we want the mass of CaCl2. So mass is moles times MR. The MR of CaCl2 is 40 for calcium and two lots of 35.5 for the chlorine. So that comes to 111. We put it in the equation moles times MR. We've got eight moles times 111 is 888 grams. So well done if you managed to do that. In question two, what mass of potassium oxide would be made from 90 grams of potassium? So pause the video and then check back in when you've had a go. Once again, first of all, we annotate the equation, 90 grams of potassium. We want to know about potassium oxide and we can ignore the oxygen. We write a sentence. In this case, it's not an equal ratio. Four moles of K makes two moles of K2O. So if we had 10 moles of K, it would be five moles of K2O. We're half in it. So how many moles have we got? Moles of K is mass over AR because it's an atom on its own, just K on its own, which is 90 over 39. So that's 2.31 moles of potassium. We write that on the equation. Now we need to half it to get the number of moles of K2O because it's a four to two ratio. So that would be 1.55 moles of K2O. We then work out the mass of K2O, which is moles times MR. The MR of K2O is 39 plus 39 for the two potassiums, plus 16 for the oxygen, which is 94. Remember all those numbers are the mass numbers on the periodic table. And we put it in the equation above, we get 108.6 grams. Question three, you'll see is in tons. So use the shortcut we talked about before, cross out tons and imagine it's, imagine it's in grams. Have a go at working it out and then check if you've got it right. Resume the video once you've done it. So we change the tons to grams. We write 200 grams under the iron oxide and we're looking for the mass of iron so we can ignore the other two terms in the equation. Moles, one mole of Fe2O3, in this case makes two moles of Fe. So it's a ratio of one to two. So moles of Fe2O3 is mass over MR. The MR is 160. The moles therefore is 200 grams over 160, which is 1.25 moles of Fe2O3. So we write that on the equation, but we need, we're going to make double the amount of moles of Fe. So that becomes 2.5 moles of Fe because the ratio is one to two. Then the mass of Fe is moles times AR. That means it's 2.5 times 56, which is 140 grams. 
But at this stage, we need to remember the question was in tons. So we change it back into tons. Now you'll notice that whenever we've got MR in an equation, moles is mass over MR is only ever for one molecule of it. So at that stage, we ignore the balance in numbers. Similarly, where we had mass of Fe is moles times AR, it was for one iron atom. We didn't then times it by two again because of the big two in front of it. Okay. The only time we use the balancing numbers is to write the sentence about the ratios. MR and AR is only ever for one atom or one molecule. So that's a common place people can make mistakes. This question is challenging because it's asking us how much reactant we need and we're being told how much product would be made. So it's the opposite way around to the previous questions. So have a go, see how far you get, and then check back in to see how you got on. So this time, first of all, we annotate the equation again, just like we've been doing. So we've got 450 grams of the product. We want to know how much aluminium is made, and we can ignore the oxygen. So once again, we write a sentence to describe the ratio. Four moles of Al makes two moles of Al2O3. But this time we start by working out the moles of product. It's the only one we can work out the moles of because it's the only one we've got a mass for. So moles of Al2O3 is mass over MR. The MR is 102. That means the moles is 450 over 102 which is 4.41 moles. And once again, we write it on the equation. Now, because it's a ratio of four to two, that means we'll have twice as many moles of the reactant to start with. So that would be 8.82 moles of aluminium. But we want to know the mass of aluminium. So mass is moles times AR, which is 8.82 times 27. And that comes out at 238.14 grams. So very well done indeed, if you got that one correct. So don't worry if you found these calculations challenging. They are meant to be because they're aimed at grade eight and nine students. But even if your target grade is a six or seven, and you're picking up a few marks along the way for working out, then that will help you get the target grade that you're aiming for. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching.